Greetings, Commanders! Welcome to the Dragon Slayer Season 9 Commander card. This is Maggie, the Dragon Slayer. She was the Season 9 playoff entrance gift for making it to the top 80. Uh, so only the top 80 guilds have her, but that still makes for a lot of players uh, with her. Now, if you don't know what Maggie does, basically she does damage, and then if she lands the damage into Shockwave, then she does 60% of that damage to everything else in the map, like an Awakening, but it's a guaranteed hit. And it ignores Strength and Weakened. And you say, well, does it ignore Tear Suppression? Well, it doesn't matter. because you should be using the highest tier anyway. She works as a full march or a utility one-slot bus commander. She's the most broken commander since Rogers. Eventually, Rogers had counters like Vega and Gilly. Right now, Dragon Slayer can be beaten in a fair fight, sure, but as a one-slot bus commander or in a fair fight, she's generally great in all scenarios. She, you don't really just get to dominate Dragon Slayer. She's so good. Uh, of course, the best way to beat her is just Swe March against her, when, you know, with like a full proper march. But then, if you're a Dragon Slayer main, that's your only major Kryptonite. So you just awaken Re uh, R W E, excuse me. <laughs> so let's talk about the build. It's gonna be Army's Dragon Slayer penetration build. He's actually been working on it for quite a while. And if you caught that episode of Zen Town Heroes last week, uh, we kind of talked about what the build is and, and how to make it work. So this is number seven of ten. Ah, I always do this. Dang it, there it is, seven to 10. Uh, if you want this commander card, it's in the description below. If you want other season nine commander cards, they're in the description of those videos as well. All right, so basically the trick here is Dragon Slayer's Shockwave does 60% of its damage to everything else it that doesn't get hit by it, right? Uh, I don't know if I should just stock skills because we never did a proper dra Dragon Slayer breakdown, I don't believe, but basically it's a 60% chance to trigger and if she hits then she deals whatever she does to that troop to the other troops like an awakening it hits massively hard if she hits tier one the defense values on tier one is so low it basically one shots other tier 12 it's the hardest hitting skill in the game which means that commanders can no longer and if you don't watch replay of the week then you 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 have you know, no idea what i'm talking about and replay of the week we see it all the time if commanders have one ranger and you hit rangers with meggy the Dragon Slayer, she's going to dominate the whole field. doesn't matter if there's Tier 12 in the other slot. So you can no longer march Tier 1 against her. You have to put a, a one unit of Tier 12 or whatever your highest is in that slot. Uh, she also has a Crushing Blow, which is like Golem's Crush. Go figure. It sounds similar. 40% guaranteed hit skill. So combo this with Shockwave, you're guaranteed to hit and do a ton of damage. One slot bust or full march. Uh, the problem is it doesn't scale in Tier 12 with actual damage gear this is why golem doesn't have a, a role in the meta right now this is why stella doesn't have a role in the meta the answer to that is if you do penetration builds you can actually get golem back into it and meggy but meggy does it better she has that 40 percent guaranteed hit skill plus a 60 percent shockwave anyway so this is the build it's the same as the penetration build for nekajiro uh wild roses for as much penetration as you can get uh, and then the Devil's Touch, which is nice because she's an airship comm who can use the Devil's Touch, as opposed to infantry who have to run the airship helmet for their penetration build. That's not stupid. <sighs> Fucking stupid ass game. Um, Shadow Chess Piece. <laughs> Shadow Chess Piece for the HP, survivability, and mostly resistance weekend. You're going to be running the Tier 12 Plus troops on her. Uh, I'll go over that commander card in a second here, and then the Magiwells for bonus damage. Now, if you know you're going against walkers, and you want to get a little sweet advantage, a little dodge advantage, then run the uh, the Overlord. I'm sorry. Run the... Uh, you can run... Well, if you know your opponent has a ton of crit wither, run the Overlord pants. Uh, if you want an all-around good build, Magiwell is solid. Or if you know you're going to be primarily going against walkers, take the... Not the Phantom. Where are they? Oh, there we are. The Assault Pants with a little Strength and Weaken and Crit Damage. Those are good, too. Any of the Damage Pants are actually quite fine on her. Uh, as far as uh, gems are concerned, you need to get the three-piece Andromeda for the 10%. And then you'll run Scorpio and Cepheus, because Cepheus has a damage reduction built in. And then Gemini for more guaranteed hit. So you get 10% from Andromeda. You get... 80, I'm sorry, 75% from the remaining penetration helm and two weapons, and then you get another 15% of penetration from the Dawn Hall, making it 100% penetration, not 99, it's at 100, where you really hit this weird thing in the game's math, and it completely ignores the defense, uh, and they hit a lot harder, which is why you don't see a lot of penetration builds do well in peak contests, because they don't get the benefit of the arc hall, they're only working on 85% penetration, interesting tidbit there. Uh, we'll talk about Odad's King in the future because of that, uh, because of that little weird issue. But uh, anyway, so 
Tw tier 12 plus for the bonus damage on the troops, plus the shield is nice. The tier 12 base troops are okay too. Like this, this combo is so broken right now. The tier 12 base troops are okay too. Uh, and they have tear space, which is nice because it ignores resistance weakened or strength and weakened. Um, overall, you should run awaken resistance weakened and have the chest piece for shadow to have enough resistance weakened, so it shouldn't matter. As far as gems are con concerned, uh, penetration gear doesn't really afford a lot of damage, so you need to run damage is where you can get it, and then HP where you can't run damage. And uh, you need to run three-piece Andromeda, two-piece Leo, a little extra bonus damage on the Leo there, uh, if you have four gem slots, right? Okay, uh, let's do some replays to kind of show this thing off. Man, this is kind of a messy one. This was not, not my best uh, commander card. I think there's like a lot of spite going on because of how broken she is against infantry. But uh, this is a... Uh, this is an issue. So, right, she... Oh, I guess I didn't talk about her weaknesses. So, there's the crushing blow. That's her guaranteed hit. Still with the penetration gear, kills 700 of them. This is the old tier 12. So, uh, it was basically a one-slot bust replay just to show you what she can do with that penetration build against a straight Rogers. Now, remember, th there's a little room for improvement here. These aren't the right troops. And uh, there could be a little more leadership, right? It's not max, is it? Yeah, it is. Let me see. Let me double check this. Yeah, 1777. Uh, but there's the one slot bust against Rogers. Now, in a straight fight, Rogers should beat her. Of course, he will take some losses. Her her shockwave hits really hard. Um, and then we'll do this replay, and then we'll talk about uh, her weaknesses because I kind of just messed this thing up. But it, I wanted it to be a fast video, kind of hit it hard and, and cover what I need to cover and move on. So Full Metal's not going to do much to her. He's not going to debuff any of her buffs. He's not really going to strengthen his own defenses. God, that was a hard hit. Oh, she only had 600. But 600 versus a full march, full metal, that's a good hit. So that's the tank build. Uh, sh crushing blow. Yeah, decent damage there. Killed half of them. Um, what are we thinking here? Full metal in the tank build. 1,700, 400, 300. The tear space hits hard. The problem is, is full metal can't recover once he starts taking damage from Meggy. So there's the Gemini, Cepheus. Can't be debuffed. Cepheus could not debuff, but doesn't matter. Shockwave. Uh, here comes the boom. And there's the tear space. Here comes the other boom. 700 per slot. 7, 14, 21, 4,200 were killed on just her basic hit. It is so broken, overpowered, and strong. And now this is her tank build, right? She is a tank build. She is vulnerable to other tank builds. I'm sorry. This is her glass cannon build. And she's vulnerable to other glass cannon builds because they're, that's the nature of the game, right? You trade back and forth. The difference between her is if she lands her combo the 60% chance of trigger, and if she lands a Gemini, a Scorpio, or a Crushing Blow, she's going to basically one-shot any other glass cannon. Now, Nekajiro can do some damage to her with his penetration build, right? But uh, he's only going to kill one slot at a time. You know, maybe the back row if he hits it hard enough. Gilly, same thing, and hit the back row. Uh, and Gilly can't even disable her, her guaranteed hit. She can disable the Scorpio and the Cepheus and the Gemini, but she can't disable that Crushing Blow. She's a 60-40 commander. She's broken. She's broken. Like, even Rod... Uh, okay, anyway. All right, no rants. Okay. Basically, the best way to counter Dragon Slayer is to survive her first hits, right? Uh, Rogers can do it. Damage reduction can do it. HP builds can do it. She's going to be doing well against defense and glass cannons. So, that's it. I mean... I could go further into it, but this is just the beginning of Dragon Slayer. Season 10 is upon us. Every guild is running her. Everyone that was running a Vega is now running a Dragon Slayer. Uh, for the most part. But you have to have the penetration gear. And it, that, I guess that's one thing I didn't cover very well. is The penetration gear is expensive. Straight up. It's just, it's not affordable. Like, it to get it to 100%, not, the Dawn Hall and the Andromeda give you a free 25%. The rest, you got to make it up on level 40 plus gear. It's hard to do. But at the highest level, and considering the top 80 guilds have her, they're doing it. Uh, the problem is, if you only get to like 90% penetration, she's not the same commander. But that's where Utility Dragon Slayer comes in, and I'll be covering her next week when we talk about Dragon Slayer, Kilgore, Hancock, and who's the last one? There's one more. Is it Plasma? I guess probably the new Plasma is worth it. Yeah, Plasma. Plasma's the one. So until then, if you enjoyed this video and videos like it, like this video. And if you're one of the 32% that watches these videos and isn't subscribed, consider subscribing. Uh, we put out a lot of great content every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Join the community. Message me online. It'll be a good time. I promise.